Libra, hey Libra. Thank you for watching my channel, Two Hearts, One Soul, Eleven Eleven Tarot. I'm here to do you guys a new Scorpio reading. If you would like, I want to thank everybody for the support they've been showing the channel. If you would like a personal reading, everything is in the description box below. You can email me if you have any further questions. Um, I feel like this new school, this new school, Lord, this new moon in Scorpio has a lot to do with transformation. And um, I feel like it's transfer, transforming people emotionally too, like to a better place, shedding that old skin and bringing in something new, rebirthing something new into their life. When I got you some sacred um, travelers, I got get the big picture. I got transformation, a fresh new way of living emerges. And I also got fellow travelers. Support is all around you. I feel like you guys are starting to see the big picture in the situation, any parts of your life. And um, it's kind of giving you a fresh new start with this, with some type of clarity you guys received. This could be in regards to, um, especially with support, it's all around you. Maybe in the past you felt like you wasn't supported. So now the divine is coming through saying that you do have that support, that we're supporting you throughout this uh, mission. It's saying that um, give you from above and you see how the lady, she's looking down below in this. So I feel like it's saying that either you get the big picture or it's time to get a different perspective in the way that you're looking thing, looking at things. But I feel like this is something of the past. Like now you've already gained that, that um, new perspective and, and things are starting to transform in your life. And it's a fresh new way of living emerges. So that's what's going on. Now you enter in a whole new cycle in your life because you've been through some type of real transformation. When you get all three of these cards together, it says strongly that maybe you've been through a lot and a lot of a lot of a lot of your old self has come off, especially with transformation and you're embodying like a whole new person. I feel like in which to where some people that haven't spoke to you or seen you in a while will look at you completely different now than they did in the past because it's like you're a whole new person is what I'm getting. What can Libra surrender? Get you a surrender to power card. Let's see what you can surrender. Like what can be let go with this new moon? Something you can set your intentions like I'm going to surrender this or let this go. So you can get, it's like to clear a blockage or some type of blockage you may have, okay? Messages for Libra. There we go. Surrender to what is. Sorry about the glare. It says, flirt with what, it, what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation compassionately, accepting it is exactly as it is will bring you peace. Okay. So basically, it's saying whatever it is, is going to be. So just kind of let it go and it's kind of going to give you the peace you need. Okay, I already meditated and shuffled on the cards. So we're going to shuffle a couple more times. And get ready for the spread. The first question I would be asking is um, whether you're trying to rebirth. What would you like to see this new moon, okay? What would Libra like to see this new moon? Seems like you just, you want to move forward. Start over. You're trying to start up, start your life brand new over, all over again. Excuse me, guys. And then um, Six of Swords. And it could have a lot to do with your mental uh, space, mentally getting to a better place in life. That's what I was feeling with the transformation card. It could have been in the past you were disappointed about the way things turned out. And so you decided to just take action and kind of ground your emotions. Or maybe you were confused about why things were working out the way that they... Um, the way that they did in it before. I feel like you had a lot of stuck energy, like to where you was kind of focusing on a lot of what happened and it kind of kept you stuck for a while. And with this fresh new way emerges, it's saying that now it could go hand in hand with the six of swords. Like now you're coming to a better place within uh, mentally and emotionally is what I feel. 
I feel like, because uh, see, I got the five of cups at the bottom of the deck and the four of cups. And you see how this five of cups, every cup cup is spilled over. So I felt like you felt like there were no more opportunities. Like there was nothing else you can do about a situation, not knowing where, where, which way to go. And that's what you move away from. You're setting intentions this new moon. Or, uh, these can be great intentions to set. To, to just start over, begin again, and get the mental clarity you need so you can move uh, say, uh, smoothly away from this to a better place. You see how this guy is packing his bags and he's out of there. Like, I'm done with this. I don't want to really, <clears throat> I don't really want to deal with it. So you may be still, like, right at this very moment, still kind of struggling a little bit mentally, but I feel like it's the end of that. Let's see what uh, what's the best way to connect, connect, reconnect, with you, pet your passions. That came flowing out the deck. Start beginning again. A lot of new beginnings. Something more stable for you. Even if, yeah, putting down those burdens, especially if when it comes to love, maybe you feel like you're missing out on opportunities. The love is not coming your way, especially with the four of cups. And it's like, and it's but it's causing you to kind of worry and stay stuck in a certain energy. But it's the. Divine saying is if there's a new way, if things are transforming, new love can, once you put down these burdens, you will make it to where new love can come into your life. And that's the best way to connect with your passions. Let's see what ways you have been self-sabotaging. What ways have Libra been self-sabotaging? Hopefully this is something you may not be aware of. Let's keep lying over here. Hit this card. Sorry about my little sad. Ace of Wands and a Three of Swords. I feel like you were stuck in a, a thing, like somebody really broke your heart. Certain things really disappointed you, and it could have been the way a relationship turned out. Yeah, I got the sun at the bottom of the deck. And it, the way a relationship turned out, so it was kind of, you were sabotaging by not moving forward, by not offering yourself that new beginning, staying in this energy. Maybe you felt like people for a past that for a while that um, everything would always turn out to in like the state of disappointment. Yeah, eight of swords and the hangman. So this is like being stuck in this energy for a long time with the chariot, not even moving forward because you were so thinking so heavily about something disappointing you and not making you happy. But what you really wanted was that happiness. And but it was hard to come to you because you were thinking a lot. Like, and it kind of had things to where it was on pause for a while. Let's see how you can be your own best cheerleader, Libra. It's not gonna be a very long reading. How can Libra be their own best cheerleader? I don't know why when I seen <laughs> This six of wands, and you see how she's putting the reef on herself, just celebrating yourself, even the small victories in life. Even, I feel like, uh, we're going to take them all. The small victories in life. You have the knight of wands, the seven of pentacles, the six of, uh, the six of wands, and then the hierophant. So let's say, I feel like this is basically saying committing, commit to investing more into yourself. So you can move forward and be victorious. And but still, I'm still thinking that this is like celebrating the small victories you have within this journey. Being able to smile, like just the small things you do, a certain way about you changing and celebrating that. And that's how you can invest more in yourself. And having patience with yourself too is another thing that I'm getting. I'm also getting let you stand up for what you believe. And yeah, I still got the three of, of cups celebrating. That's what I was feeling. Deciding to celebrate yourself for every small victory. And also making wise decisions, knowing that the decisions you made for yourself was good enough for you with the king of swords. So these decisions were smart for you and where you needed to be at this very time is what I'm getting from that. Let's see the outcome this new moon. Outcome for Libra this new moon. What outcome is coming up for Libra for this new moon? So this is a cycle that you're 
successfully wrapping up to the moon card automatically, I thought unknown. But illumination. I feel like the outcome this is saying too that you may not see the path fully, but trust it. Still plan for it even though you don't see it. So I feel like you are being optimistic in a way. Kind of let your guard down with the Knight of Wands in reverse and giving up on things that's not really working for you and start working on the things that um, are because change is coming with the Wheel of Fortune. And it's working out the way, it's working out in a way to whatever happened in the past was best being left in the past so something new can come in. And yeah, we got the Six of Cups after that. Okay. Let's get you a, um, I don't even know what the name of these cards is, so we're just going to read it, okay? It says fertility. It says give, giving birth and being born brings us into the essence of creation. Okay, Libra, that's all I have for you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope it helps. Bye.